Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video, and in today's video we are going up against the Dark Barbarians with the Azariel with a Dark Prodigy team. Now this used to work with the Gear 10 version, it still works with the Gear 11 version, however there is a slightly higher chance of not gaining that 3 star. Before the introduction of Gear 11, I could confidently verse the Dark Barbarians with this team and get 3 star every time on the manual on auto the ai was just horrible and i'd lose a lot more so even still in gear 11 i would highly recommend using manual to do this fight you can use auto and manually select the targets however i still do not recommend it doing this battle 20 times i came out with a 90 percent three star win ratio a five percent one star win ratio and a 5% zero star. So I did lose one battle and that is just because of seven knives and his RNG damage. And sometimes that swamp killer has just a little stack that she got from somewhere and she can rip through you. So we'll go into the battle. I'll show you what you need to do. And I would recommend this team in tournament. Just be a little bit careful, especially considering the enemy arcane stars. If you see that seven knives with a little bit of those high arcane stars, five, six, seven, you really need to consider how strong your team is in their, in terms of their Arcane Stars against that one character because he will do damage. But without any more talking, I'll jump into the battle, show you what you guys need to do and hopefully prepare you for the future. Okay, so going into battle, you are going to start off with Maelstrom of Death, apply as many debuffs as you can, and then you are going to follow up with the Gaze of Ishtal. And your first target is going to be Denea. We're going to use the Touch of Ishtal to a fair bit of damage. Then we're going to use the Shadow Strike. Now, you're not always going to get her down to this much HP due to some debuffs sometimes being resisted. But the aim is just to trigger the Azariel passive, which I've never failed to do before the enemy Azariel gets a healing turn. There you go. So we've triggered the passive. Beautiful. And we're back up to striking her down. Now with the debuff removal damage from the Lokia, she will almost kill herself. We're going to use the Gloom. And then we're going to remove the buffs with Palsy from our Lael. There we go. And we can finish her off. With Denea dead, we are going to move over to the Seven Knives and take him out. He is the next big threat. He can do a tremendous amount of damage. And with the enemy Azaria, we're going to rely on her to get rid of the rage buffs from the enemy Swamp Killer. Now, you, you do not want to use any AoE attacks at this point. Not until your main target is the enemy Swamp Killer. We do not want those stacks to get up. As you can see, we had the AoE from Loki already. We're not going to use it because we do not need to. We're going to heal up there. Beautiful. Then we are going to move to the enemy Swamp Killer from here and take her out. She will start getting stacks up, but that's fine. We're going to apply debuffs. We're going to hit her. Drake, he's one of the bigger damage dealers on the team, to be honest. He can rip through targets. We trigger the Azariel passive on the Swamp Killer. That's fine. We're just going to keep attacking her until we can get rid of her. Shouldn't be too hard. Not going to bother with our... There we go, she's down. Wonderful. And from here, up to you what you want to do. You're going to target the Balara, or you can target the Azariel. I'm going to target the Balara first. I like leaving the Azariel up on the enemy team, simply because I know I can get an extra bit of healing from her and make sure my team is as topped up as possible. So now we can move on to the Azariel. Should be pretty simple from here. We're just going to put it on auto, and the battle will take care of itself. Now, with the introduction of Gear 11... Before gear 11, I I would almost guarantee you would always 3-star this fight full HP. With the introduction of gear 11, like the stats showed you before, there is the chance of losing. There is the chance that your Azariel just gets ripped apart, but it's a very low chance. And again, take into consideration the enemy arcane stars, especially the 7 knives. If the 7 knives is of a higher arcane star rating than your Azariel then probably not a great idea to go against the team because he will tear through anything. His damage is ridiculous. I will put in some extra videos now of other battles and how they might turn out. Feel free to stay and watch that. If not, that's cool. 
do what you want. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, till next time, please take care of yourself.